This is um, an update to the Peter Lynch portfolio. Um, Y chart screens for uh, Peter Lynch like type some investments. They screen for uh, companies for who are small caps, have low peg ratios, and reasonable debt to equity ratios, as well as something of a dividend. Comes up with a list of 35. Uh, changes every once in a while. And um, yeah, this is just an update to uh, what's happening with the list. Uh, there's uh, some new names, one of them being Dorchester Minerals LP. The ticker symbol here is DMLP. So just quickly taking a look at that. Um, yeah, Dorchester Minerals operates as the owner of producing and non-producing crude oil, natural gas, mineral royalty, overriding royalty, net profits, leasehold interests. Company generates revenues from royalties, net profits, interest, lease bonus, and others. Leasehold interest in approximately 592 counties and parishes in around 28 states. Um, so it's an oil and gas royalty trust. There's quite a few of them in this list. I've been uh, talking a lot about them. Uh, they all kind of have the same story. Um, yeah, they're doing really well. Oil and gas has been, uh, you know, an uh, area where there hasn't been a lot of investment. And um, yeah, cyclically speaking, it's um, it's not at its bottom, but it's definitely not uh, at the top either, somewhere in the middle. Um, so there's a lot of like um, opportunities here, I think, for uh, investors who are interested in cyclicals. Um, Peter Lynch has a lot to say about like uh, investing in cyclicals, but um, I, I think there's some you know some there's reasons why like uh, guys like Warren Buffett are buying um, you know. A lot of Occidental Petroleum as well as Chevron um, just because uh, yeah oil and gas is here to stay and um, right now a lot of these companies are being overlooked and they're undervalued so um, there's deals to be had and uh, it sounds like Dorchester Minerals LP is one of them I don't know anything about this company this is not a recommendation uh, make sure you do some due diligence if you're thinking about investing in this company um, if you know anything about this company and you want to share, please share in the comments. We'd love to hear um, if you've got some um, some insight into Dorchester Minerals more than like I'll have, that's for sure. Um, but um, nonetheless, I'm just quickly looking here. It's got a market cap of uh, just over a billion. Uh, the dividend yield forward is just under 13%. It's pretty healthy. Um, the revenue looks like it's been doing pretty good lately. EPS um, doing all right as well. Return on equity pretty healthy as well, 78%. Uh, P ratio is just over eight. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> key stats. Uh, da, 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 da. It has 40 million, just over 40 million in cash and no long term debt. It's good. Um, it has 147 million in free cash flow. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> yeah, the dividend yield is pretty decent. It's just over, just under 13%. And. Peg ratio. I don't know if this makes as big a difference with the royalty trust, the peg ratio, but um, I mean, a lot of these kinds of uh, companies, what's happening here is the price bowl has done really well, and um, you know, the energy producers have survived the last downturn. Uh, they're being a lot more conservative with their uh, capex, and um, they're just not racing out to like uh, go into debt to try and like drill more holes and uh, make more money off of uh, the price of oil. So they're being really conservative, and a lot of the companies that are uh, doing all right. They're making some money. So uh, a lot of the companies like Dorchester are doing all right. They're making money, and um, they're bringing, they're, you know, they're sharing the wealth. They're making sure that like uh, shareholders are getting the their due. Um, so yeah, that's why the dividend yield is just under thirteen percent. So um, yeah, this is a story with a lot of them. So, anyways, uh, I don't know a lot about Dorchester, but again, if you know something about it and you want to share, share in the comments, please. I'd love to hear from you. Um, 
Yeah, and the uh, and again, if you're interested in kind of keeping up to date with what's happening in this portfolio, um, subscribe to the channel or go to my website, peterlynchinvestor.com. The portfolio is there as well. If you subscribe to the portfolio on my website, uh, you can get an email anytime there's a, a change. So, um, yeah, this list of 35 stocks changes every once in a while. There's some new names on here. So, um, yeah, it's a good way to kind of keep up to date with what's happening there. Um, in any case, uh, thanks for your time today, and uh, have a good day. Thanks.